Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, today we'll be playing um, a... Uh, hmm. We'll be playing a... Oh god, they are terrible at that. Um... We're gonna go Draconian with a... Falchion? This is weird. Uh, we're gonna be a Distorter. What do we start with? Apportation, Link Shroud, Project, Portal Projectile, Teleport Other Passage, Go Berea. Alright, so. Not the most important thing to get up and running. Uh, we'll be doing a Draconian Transporter, so we're gonna be using a lot of Translocations magics, which are fun. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get, like, uh, singularity from the Akashkin record, control blink, all those fun stuffs. Now we won't start training uh, transportation right or uh, transportations right away because we don't have a useful spell for it. We have the uh, apportation, which lets us which lets us grab a. Item from far away, but um, it's not that good. We will start by training a little bit of our throwing at the same time because we do have these axes. Oh, we got another ring somewhere. Ring of fire. I'm gonna take that off. Because that makes us even weaker to ice than we already are. Quiver. The throwing nets. Oh, uh, we'll increase our intelligence. A lot more intelligence means we'll be able to cast higher land spells much easier. An altar to the shining one. Uh, I'll probably do another. Uh, I'll do an attempt at a shining one run. Uh, with who? I don't know. Like the shining one doesn't offer like much. He's pretty defensive, but beyond that, I think his skills are pretty mediocre. Best thing he's probably for is um, his Corona of Light and the ability to transform a demon weapon into a very powerful weapon, like a Trishula or a Angelic Blade. Though I'm not, I can't remember what's what exactly. Okay, I need some food, Bat. If you could. There we go. Oh, almost just got uh, completely destroyed. They're using a lot of ways, right? Yeah. Leather armor is useless. Oh, a hat. Plus two hat, that's pretty good. And the net didn't mulch, that's really nice. Uh, when you throw a throwing weapon, 
it has a chance to mulch itself so it just disappears and you can no longer use it again. Though with higher throwing skill there be this becomes less likely of happening every time. Uh, an endpoint at the from the oh, okay. We are on the second floor, so we will be looking for they have chaos weapons, so they're quite a problem. Okay, this is also a problem. We are most certainly dead. Yeah. <sighs> that happens a lot. Uh you know, let's try that, um try a Hillark fighter with a... no, not a hill arc. Um, what's a good class for maces and flavels? Er, the whole arms would be acceptable as well. Er, yeah, no, I want to use one of those. Um, All arms, maces, and flails. Uh, not deep elves. Not high elves. Minotaurs. B. Decent. Uh, hill arc would be. Okay, yeah, it. I guess we'll go with Hill Work. Uh, mainly doing it for the better bit of armor, I guess as well as the more even stat distribution. Uh, instead of having it all poured into strength, we have at least a little bit of dex as well. So we picked up a ring already. Curse string of teleporting. Charging is useless. Amnesia is useless. Identify. Hearing, good to know. Smoke. Chainmail. What if we wear it? Five with ninety-seven. We'll get this up fairly high with a plus one to it. it should take. Oh, what the heck? Uh, excuse me for a moment. Oh my god. I meant to have this playing from the start. Um, if you pause and look, you'll see that's by. I believe it's. Uh, I'll, I'll just stop and look. Adrian von Sigler, I believe that's how. It, oh god, that's how that's pronounced. Um, that's a little loud. I'm gonna. I was a little loud. Uh, this should help fill the void of when I'm thinking or talking. Uh, okay, no, we're good. I think.
And that's everything, so we'll head down the next floor. So we'll be looking for the shining one. Uh, we'll increase our dexterity. Hmm. Seriously. for this pillar, I guess. Uh, sound of rushing water, we do want to get that. Uh, that'll be the sewer. Which I'm guessing is down here. The entrance to it is down here. Oh, it's right here. There it is. God damn it, man. Switch again then. We'll start as a fighter this time with a flail. Uh, gargoyles start a little frail. But uh, they make up for it by having good um, defensive stats, as well as being uh, having a good bit of uh, their resistance to torment, which is really good. Um, it gives us plus two AC to begin with, is really good. We're immune to poison and negative uh, resist negative energy as well. Uh, resist electricity. We can we can't be uh, we can't be strangled or anything like that, and we're immune to petrification and rotting, which is really nice as well. I believe at later on levels we learn to fly, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, our Mysis and Flays will be transitioning into a whip, and hopefully a demon whip if I can work it. This is really bad. Uh, let's try going down here. Uh, level 3 will increase our dexterity. That is an amulet. This could be very good. Amulet of Rage can be very good. That will greatly increase our combat skills as well as our HP pool for a time. Though it will slow and exhaust us afterwards. Um, being resistant to poison make us pretty good at clearing the lair. And since we won't be running slashing weapons, we won't have that much of a problem with that. Uh, we'll get this to its usual, maybe eight or nine, before we uh, have to worry about trying to increase our other skills. We probably want to increase our uh, armor and our fighting right after. And then maybe dodging. What's our dodging? Negative two. That's bad. Uh, we will want to increase it though. Um, Crush that bat, crush this guy, and then some coyotes, no problem. Oh, 
to the floor, and we'll move on down. Rushing water. Why isn't that familiar? That's Terrence. I don't believe I can fight him. So we're going the right way. Okay, we put ourselves in a pickle here. Freaking bats, man. So annoying. Okay. Of course you are here. Early can actually be quite good. It's only basically equivalent to leather. Uh, can we get a scroll teleport? Enchant uh, armor. Pretty good. Um, identify teleport. No. And we'll get out and. Uh, it's 10, 9, 8, 11. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, armor made from stiff and knobbly skin of common troll magically generates wears flesh to slow rain. So this will do wonders for us. Oh, here's Robin again. This regeneration is actually doing a lot of work for us. Uh oh. Now we have a helmet as well, which is fairly good. It's basically free armor, which is never a negative, for the most part. This should be basically the floor. Oh. Well, there we go. Okay. We should train invocations a little bit. There's no way I'm gonna be able to take this on.
was that? Not recharging. Getting all these scrolls of enchant armor is very good because it's making this armor much more viable. Even though it's already fairly viable. The regeneration is going to provide is quite handy indeed. Uh, there we go. Uh, I want to get the amulet of rage usable. So here, we'd be able to use it in a pickle. So, a flail of draining, while I'm not sure if it actually will do much, it is plus one, making it better than our current flail. A shimmering ray, pure gloating triant, uh, a rune flail could be really good. Okay, Dawan and Duvessa. And Pickle! Well, isn't that just dandy? Pickle should have a fairly decent whip. Whip of freezing. Probably better than the flail of draining. This is actually plus one, so it's actually probably so much better. Also, draining is quite useful, I suppose. Oh. Okuaru Fedas. That's actually... This is a huge problem. Bringing a centaur in close is probably the best way of dealing with it, though fighters are scary as well. At any range. Um, well, done exploring. This dungeon seems quite small. Started turning into fighting. There we go. As well as armor. Alright, there we go. Uh, plate mail is in. Icing, but I'm not sure I really want it. Um, we should be fine? Yeah. Well, I guess we can't torment you. It's um, much easier. Being resistant to tormenting does provide us a lot of uh, luxuries.
Okay. That's really bad. The increased healing does pair itself well with our armor, but upon taking damage, we start deteriorating is really terrible. Freeze. Spectral weapon. Condensation shield. Okay then, uh, we'll not be attempting to fight him anymore. The crocodile generally means the lair is nearby. The temple is also quite nice. So you'll probably contain the shining one. I'm gonna head up. Oh, uh. Cannot use draining while under the guidance of our friend. So let's we'll just use this whip. We're gonna head back up to the shop that had that uh, flail. That's really good. Um. That's also pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm not happy about it. But we can blink at will. That's cool. Though, we are going to be deteriorating a lot. If we can find something of sustainability, we might be able to avoid that, but... I feel like it's not going to be too likely we find any something like that anytime soon. How's our armor? Let me get those both up a little bit. No. No more sky. No more mutations. Ow. No, thank you. Dungeon level 7 to be fighting that kind of guy, that's kind of insane. Let's go up here. What are you guarding? But actually it was nothing. Had I uh, found that one. The trainer shields up a 
good bit. We now also have a shield to accompany our small. Um, well, we have a small shield to accompany our flail. Oh, I guess that's an evolution. Uh, the evolved mutation starts giving you random beneficial mutations, I believe. Uh, similar to the demon spawns mutations, but uh less prevalent, I would say. We do regen like freaking mad. We can't be rotted, so that's fine. An L. That's a little much. Um. Going to the Orcish Mines will probably give us a lot of, uh, of uh, stuff. Oh. Okay then. Well, that was a quick beehive. Oh. We're getting a lot of piety really quick with him now. Banking on getting a little uh, lucky with our uh, generations of the dungeon coming up here and uh, perhaps getting um, Oh, Book of Geomancy, that's actually positive. Can't forget we can blink now. Have we? No.
Oh, I would love a good weapon. That's really aggravating. It's probably a really good weapon, but I don't think it's going to be good for us specifically. Uh, fighting is probably good for now. We'll start training invoke. Uh, invo oh, who are you? The grappler. Oh, it's this Zom dude. Okay. Really? I'm supposed to be evolving and I became weaker. That's not how that works. I guess I can screw you as well. Let's try another level. Our first ring, so bring a positive energy, so that makes us even more resistant to, uh... cast stone arrow okay she has banishment that's a problem Okay, this is getting a little out of hand now. I'm fine with killing undead things. That'll give me more piety. A water elemental? Golf doesn't affect us, I don't think. Okay. So that was basically done for nothing. Okay, that's scary. Okay.
God damn it. Why is that stupid scroll torment? Get it out of here. Let's go to the lair. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Six point nine. Harold too. Jesus Christ, man. This floor's been fucking demanding already. Ring plus five ring of evasion. That's really good. Would drink up cute potion commutation as long as I got rid of all my negative ones and took only a few good ones. Like, I think I'd probably give up my regeneration as well as my mapping for the ability to get rid of the current bad ones I have. Also quite good. We also have our shields to 14, so we can use our good shield. Further increase the amount of damage we don't have to take. Um, let's get this a bit closer and then hit it with one of these, as well as a one of these. Okay, that's a problem. Oh, perfect timing. Oh god. Our stats are plummeting, and I'm not able to slow the bleeding. At this rate, we're going to start hitting the zero stat lines, and that's going to be really killing us here. Mutation and like now, 
Okay, there's the spider's nest. The spider nest isn't bad. That'll be quite easy for us since we're immune to poisoning. Is good. My dex is returning, which is good, but not at a rate I'd really like. Actually good ring of slaying there would have been nice, but can't have everything. Mm. Okay, this is a problem. Give up most of my good mutations for just the ability to f remove this stupid degeneration. It's causing me so much grief. Shield is almost there. immune to petrification so it's not that big of a deal that we had to fight a basilisk oh god this is just progressively getting worse and worse Desperate for this cute mutation here. 
Or at least restore abilities or something. I'm dying. Like, I'm gonna be forced into a position where I'm gonna have to die because I don't have stats. Oh god, Josephine, please. Just leave me alone. Good. We'll start training this and wield this. So we do have the shoals we just found out. I never get the swamp anymore, man. I miss it. I hate shoals. It's the worst. right now. <coughs> Let's go back to the dungeon and head to the Orcish Mines. And hope the uh, inhabitants of their inn have some shops with a cure mutations potion because I cannot keep on going like this. I'm gonna hit brainless and I'm gonna not be able to. Okay, are you kidding? What is going on here? My intelligence is getting zapped faster and faster. Go stronger and larger. Well, 
What did we just get? Cleansing flames? We have fly now, we'll just get um Oh uh I invoke a huge blast divine fury centered on the users really damaging and dead demons the damage all hostages these allies are never affected. Alright, let's Dead. And armor shop. Curse helmet of the tarantula into Dex. Literally. Howbrick. to prevent myself from decaying further. Oh god, how long is this? Oh, holy shit. Uh, okay, that'll be it for this. Uh, hope, sorry for the longer video, I didn't even notice. Um, I didn't set a timer either. Well, I uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I'll be back again with our slowly deteriorating Siegfried the Blocker. Goodbye.